One thing that uh, we should gather from this text that's very prominent is that this is not all about mankind. <clears throat> This is through certain key words in these two verses, this is made very clear that this, this is all about what God is doing. Salvation is of the Lord. All things are of God. Yeah. So this is brought out in the text in certain words. First, uh, <clears throat> ordained for men. It doesn't say ordained by men. But that ever now he's talking about, of course, the, the Levitical priesthood was or even that was ordained of God. You know that no one, no one that God used ever volunteered. Moses didn't volunteer. Aaron didn't volunteer. Abraham didn't volunteer. The prophets didn't volunteer. The apostles didn't volunteer. Because no one knows, without God revealing it, no one knows what God is doing. In fact, no one even knows God without Him revealing Himself. So it just stands to reason it's got to be God who's doing the ordaining. He's got to be the one that lays down the order. This is the way it's going to be. This, this one's the priest. This, this man, Aaron, and his sons are going to, the, going to be the priest. And of course, in the text, it, Paul's using the Levitical priesthood to, to tell us more about Christ's own priesthood. <clears throat> also, the phrase, and Brother Aaron brought all this out, but things pertaining to God. It's, it was also, God told Moses that the, the priests and the Levites were for the service or the ministry to God. Not to serve the people, but to serve God. Here again, if men, especially in our day, men, people in churches need to know that it's not all about you. Or what you want or what you need, it's about what God is doing. <clears throat> this, the, those that serve are serving God because... God is doing something. He's fulfilling His purpose. So those that serve, serve His purpose. Things pertaining to God. Both gifts and sacrifices for sins. <clears throat> also in the, the second verse there, and again he's talking about the, the Aaronic priesthood. It says, because this... Aaron and the priests that followed him were men. They were humans, so they could, they could have compassion on their fellow men who were ignorant and out of the way. <clears throat> For that he himself, that is the priest, Aaron, and the other priests are also compassed about with infirmity. He's not necessarily saying here that Jesus is compassed with infirmity, but he's making a likeness that were these... The Aaronic priesthood, these men were compassed with infirmity so they could understand how to intercede for the people. Well, in the same way, Jesus, he's, he's not encompassed with exactly the same infirmities that we have sometimes, but he can succor us when we're tempted. He knows what it's like when, uh, when the flesh says, I want to go this way, but the Spirit says, no, we're going that way, and you need strength. We have a Savior, we have a high priest who can help us in these things. Amen. So when we, we look at this text, and Brother Aaron did a, an excellent job of showing here that, that this is all of God and that God is fulfilling his own purpose in the choosing of his own high priest who could only be Jesus. And that, that there's, a, in a sense, we, when we come away from this, we should feel pretty small. We should, we should feel a lot smaller, in a sense, because of talking about being ignorant, not even knowing what God is doing unless He reveals it to us, being out of the way, sheep going astray, sheep just kind of wander around unless they have a leader, some, a shepherd, or a high priest to, to gather them together and say, no, don't, don't turn there, straight ahead. This is the way, walk in it, straight ahead now. See, he's, he can have compassion on those. Well, this ought to make us feel small in a sense. And this is, this is the intent of the Holy Spirit to make you know that you need this high priest. Amen. Amen. So this is the exhortation. We'll actually go back to the previous verse, the last verse of chapter 4. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And then Brother Aaron's text today, for every high priest from among men. Is, so 
This is why you come to the throne of grace with boldness. And this is why, this is how you can find help, grace to help. It's because this priest is there. God has ordained a high priest for us. He's the great shepherd and the good shepherd. So whenever uh, you're feeling that perhaps you're ignorant or that you don't know which way to go and you, and you, you come to the realization that you need this high priest, well, now don't, don't be afraid. Let's come with boldness because this is the very thing that God has provided for us is, is for us to be pleasing to him and to make it from here to there because of this high priest. So I exhort you with those words and open it now for your observations. <clears throat>